I would like to talk about spending monumental times alone and trying to differentiate between loneliness and being alone. I am spending Christmas alone, depending on when you watch this. I have spent Christmas. I have spent Christmas alone for the first time in a long time. I have spent Christmas, um, I think um, to try and put it correctly, I have spent Christmas out of the country for the first time. And I didn't I did not completely acknowledge the value of having a routine, the value of having things that remain constant in a world where there are so many interchanging variables, there are so many there are so many disappearing trends and traditions and cultures. People are growing up, people are leaving home, everybody is taking their own path and everything seems to be changing. So the value of particular traditions that ordinarily stood the test of time becomes even more profound. So for the first time ever, I am spending Christmas out of the country. There are so many people who are spending the holiday season alone for various reasons. Um, either they are away from home for work related reasons, uh, could be academics. Um, some have even lost their loved ones for various reasons. We have recently gone through so many different issues as a globe, honestly, that has directly impacted the quality of life or the, the presence of life for some people. So some people are spending Christmas or the festive season or the holidays alone or without particular loved ones who used to be there for them. And it can be very gruesome, to be honest. I, however, even while I am spending this festive season alone, I am not lonely. I am not lonely because I, I am able to create distinctions between being alone and feelings of loneliness. Why I am, while I am physically away from people who I ordinarily would be close to during this time, they do not cease to exist because I'm not physically close to them. And being able to recognize that being alone does not make you lonely helps you to compartmentalize the different feelings that are triggered by physical distance with people who we love and people who we care about so this is just a word of reassurance to those who are alone and are battling feelings of loneliness because it's hard to differentiate the physical distance between you and your loved ones and the emotional connection that still stands the test of time that transcends all the miles and kilometers that the world puts between us so it's pertinent and fundamental for us to be able to make those distinctions. While you may be physically alone, it, it doesn't mean that you are devoid of connections. It doesn't mean that you do not have people who love you, who are who have affection for you, and who are very fond of you. Um, the physical distance that separates you from those people should in no way reduce the feelings and gratitude towards them being in your life in the first place. And for those who have lost loved ones for various reasons, my sympathies lie with you. The holidays and festive season usually um, usually magnifies feelings of grief and loss because this is the time that people come together. So my heart goes out to you. If you're overwhelmed by feelings of sorrow and sadness because everybody seems to be surrounded by family and love and there's something or someone missing in your life, I hope the memories and recollections of these different individuals can give you some closure that they at least existed and you had the precious time that you did with them and you can move forward with that closure and peace, remembering the time you had together. To people who are away from home, it can be tough. It's uh, sometimes you'll have to, you know, deliberately find things that can occupy your mind um, luckily, we're in that we're in the edge of social media and the internet, and you can find ways of connecting with your family and loved ones in virtual ways. It may not be the same, but it's better than nothing. Otherwise, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of you.